Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to yet another FNAF News video. It's been a very long past couple of days rearranging the office. As you can see, I'm not done just yet, but it's coming along very well. So maybe once I'm done, I can give an updated room tour, but because I've been so busy rearranging the office and cleaning, I have missed out on some FNAF news. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get right to it, actually. And if you're brand new, don't forget to scroll down quick, give that sub button a little tickle, and now let's kick this video off by talking about some book news. First and foremost, most, we got the next Tales from the Pizzaplex book number six, Nexi, releasing very soon. It's coming out on May the 2nd, though, if you go to your Barnes & Noble, there is a chance you'll be able to find it early, just like me and a couple other FNAF fans. The book features the story Nexi, Drowning, and the highly talked about The Mimic. I'm thinking about doing a video talking about The Mimic, because you've probably heard a whole bunch of stuff about him, but you're not entirely sure what he is, so let me know if you'd be interested in that. And lastly, for book news, there's not a whole bunch, but we do have an update on the eighth Tales from the Pizzaplex book, which which has officially been confirmed to be that previously reported B-72 book, which was that cover we talked about that has that absolutely terrifying robot mixed with human character on the cover. Oh yeah, and also the creepy foot. We got a brand new terrifying robot front and center on this cover, and apparently the only thing people want to focus on is those grippers. But anyways, let's move on to a very, very exciting merchandise segment of the video, because we got some major news from Funko, Hex, and U2s. Starting off with U2s, their Pop Goes pin set is now available for only two weeks. If you're watching this video the day it comes out, there's still 10 days left to pick up this pin set. It features Pop Goes, Blake, Sarah, Saffron Stone, and Menorah. Kane's been posting a few pictures of the pins and they look absolutely fantastic. And for new upcoming U2's products, U2 showed off a better angle of their upcoming Helpy plushie, as well as releasing an official teaser on their Twitter showing off the plushie. He looks absolutely adorable. I really hope we get more FNAF 6 characters because they have a lot of characters to work with in that game. And U2's also showed off what appears to be an upcoming print featuring the FNAF 2 withered animatronics as well as the puppet. It was revealed not too long ago U2's was going to be making a print for each of the main FNAF games and I'm curious to know if this is what this is. No matter what it is, it does give us our first official look at U2's designs for the FNAF 2 withereds. Personally, I think they look absolutely terrifying. A whole bunch of details on them. I really hope we can see their figures pretty soon because last we heard U2's does want to release their withered figures sometime during the summer. So, I mean, clock's a tick and we better get a teaser soon. But tell me, what are your thoughts on the Helpy plushie, the reveals of the Withered animatronics, as well as the Pop Goes pins? And now let's move over to Daco's Hex brand because they announced something very interesting the other day. They put out a tweet saying the magnetless sitting Hex plushies are almost ready. Stay tuned. And then a few days after that, releasing an official teaser promo image for the sitting FNAF 1 plushies of Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, and Freddy. These new variants of the FNAF Hex plushies will come at a cheaper price, about $35. They're going to feature no magnets, but they will also have beans in their butts. <laughs> That's such a weird sentence to say, but they will so they can sit up properly. We're still waiting on an official reveal for what the sitting plushies look like, though I did get a DM from Daco. He showed me a few pictures of the plushies, and let me just say, I think they translate fantastically to sitting variants. He also gave me some extra details on this mysterious Golden Spring Bonnie plushie, which, let me just say, you're going to want to keep an eye on that guy. And now let's move right along to Funko, because we got a whole bunch of crazy announcements from Funko over the past couple of days. First up, for a couple smaller announcements, it got revealed that a security breach edition of Funko's Something Wild card game is in the works. This is what the card game looks like physically. Of course, this is the original version of the FNAF Something Wild card game. I'll be honest, I have no clue how to play it, but it does come with cards featuring the pop versions of the FNAF characters, as well as a tiny miniature pop figure that comes inside the box. Now, because this is a security breach variant, I'm hoping that we at least get a tiny figurine of maybe Glamrock Freddy, because he does show up in the title. Maybe if we're lucky, the Brand new cards will feature pop variants of the security breach characters and hopefully if that's the case we can get those pop figures. Because I know a lot of people, me included, have been begging Funko non-stop to make pops of the security breach characters, so hopefully, maybe it's gonna happen with this new card game coming out. And it was also revealed that a security breach edition of Funko's Survive Till 6AM game is also in the works. This is just another board game, I believe that's exclusive to the FNAF franchise from Funko. Again, I don't know how to play it, but it looks pretty interesting. Looks like it involves playing as the animatronics and you have to make your way to the security office, so it's gonna be interesting to see how that plays out with a security breach edition. There was also a listing discovered for FNAF Fightline Battle Booster Pack from Funko. I have no clue what this line of products is. I, j I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. And finally, just for miscellaneous news, here's a brand new Fazcade pin found at Hot Topic. Has nothing to do with Funko, but 
it was in my list, so I'm putting it in right here. <laughs> All right, now moving on to some of the larger announcements we got from Funko. They revealed their brand new upcoming Security Breach Snap Set. As you can see from the pics, the wave includes a single pack of Glamrock Freddy, a two-pack featuring Glamrock Chica with her shattered version, as well as Monty with his shattered face, a single pack for Vanny, who you can unmask and actually reveal the person underneath the mysterious bunny suit. As for sets, we got three, one featuring Freddy and his green room. The second wave features Monty in his green room, and the third one features Vanessa outside a hallway. I have no clue what those variants of Glamrock Freddy and Monty are. They're definitely not blacklight, because we got those in a previous Funko merchandise. So I don't know what's going on there. It's also weird they skipped out on Roxanne. I don't know why they would reuse Freddy and Monty twice, but wouldn't include Roxanne. And we did also finally get the reveal of the carrying case we saw when snaps were first announced, and it looks like that is finally being released with this brand new wave. So I'd love to know what are your thoughts on the brand new wave of snap figures? Are you a fan of the snaps? I personally can't wait to get my hands on these. I think they look fantastic. Are there any characters you're upset they didn't include? Like I said, Roxanne, maybe Burn Trap would have been nice. Even DJ Music Man, I mean, he probably would have been difficult because he's massive, but still. The staff bots have a lot of variants. They could have done some something with him, Gregory as well. I don't know, it's an interesting wave. Lastly, for Funko News, we've got the major announcement that everyone's been waiting for, the official reveal of the Sun and Moon Daycare Attendant plushies. It was leaked a while back that we would be getting plushies and action figures from Funko based on the Sun and Moon characters, and now we finally got the plushies coming out soon. In my opinion, I think they absolutely nailed these plushies. I'm not usually a fan of the humanoid bodies with Baby and Ballora and Ennard, but they actually pulled it off fantastically with these guys. They look look identical to what the characters look like in-game. Absolutely fantastic detail, like I said. I just cannot believe these guys look as good as they do. I'm hoping once the action figures get revealed, they're as high quality as these plushies just to complete the set, you know? But I don't know, man. Looks like Funko's making a comeback with their security breach merchandise. The snaps look fantastic. The daycare attendant plushies look amazing. And very quickly, let's hop into some fanverse news because we actually got two devlogs from Emil Mako, the creator of the Five Nights at Candy series. The first devlog was just a very sincere and in-depth explanation for why FNAF 4 is taking as long as it has been. It's very heartfelt, very sincere, like I said, I'm not going to have the time to explain all of it in this video, but I will leave it linked down below if you want to go have a look for yourself. And the second devlog is actually for the spin-off game FNAF Fur, and in it, Emil shows off some of the enemies we're going to be encountering in this brand new adventure, welcoming back the dog and the big dog, also showing off the brand new Corgi crew, showing off a very adorable but also dastardly edition of the Chihuahua enemy. Moving on from canines, Emil showed off the fly, Henway, and the flyfish, and rounding out the devlog with the one, the only, Big Butch. Butch appears to be the first boss we're going to encounter in FNAF Fur, and my god, does he look menacing. To quote the devlog, standing at a height three times that of Candy and Cindy, they might be able to jump over him with precision to get a better attack angle before he gets wise. And believe me, once you're trapped in a room with this boss, you'll really want to get good at jumping over him. So that was just a very quick update on FNAC Fur, FNAC 4, and also the FNAC series. Quite a tongue twister there. I'd love to know what your thoughts on the updates. And also the news that I don't think anyone was expecting, Security Breach released on the Nintendo Switch. I did do a live stream going over the entirety of the game, actually beating the burn trap ending. It was a very long stream, but it does give you an idea of what the overall Security Breach experience is like like playing on the Nintendo Switch. So I'll leave that link down below if you're curious, and honestly, it ran so much better than I was expecting. I was genuinely shocked. Like I said, I don't think anyone was expecting this port, especially to come out as polished as it did. Then again, I do get pretty lucky with my Security Breach playthroughs, and I did see Backseat stream it, and looks like he got a few crashes, so I might have just gotten off lucky, I don't know. But Maximum Games did announce that pre-orders for the Standard and Collector's Edition of the physical copies for Security Breach on Switch are going up pretty soon. So if you're looking into getting Security Breach on the Switch and you want to wait for it to release physically, seems like that's going to be happening very, very soon. And lastly, just to round out this FNAF News video, it can't be a FNAF News video without talking about Blumhouse's FNAF movie. Officially releasing later this year on October 27th, we've talked about this movie in depth a butt ton, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it in this video. But we did get a brand new casting for Wyatt Parker as young Mike, which was very surprising. In the past, we did get a casting for young Vanessa so maybe this shouldn't come as too much of a shock, but just the thought of getting a young Mike in this movie 
does get us that much closer to seeing the bite of 83 in the film. A lot of people have been pointing out maybe that pizzeria set leak we got in a previous video could be for Fred Bears instead of Freddy's. I'd love to know your theories in the comments down below. But that's gonna do it for this FNAF news video. Once again, a whole bunch of very exciting topics from Funko to U2s to security breach on Switch. So tell me what are your thoughts in the comments down below and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.